After our discussion on the Trinity and our study session video holding mystery together, we invite you into a time with God to contemplate, to meditate, to pray, and to process the mysteries of God. First, we want you to grab a journal and a pen and find a comfortable and quiet place to sit away from distractions. If this isn't a good time, come back to this video when you can. You can pause here and gather the things you need in the space you set aside for this spiritual practice. Now that you are ready to begin, take a few deep breaths. Would you repeat this after me? We believe in the Trinitarian God. Therefore, unity in God is not uniformity. Meditate on this helpful observation. God is one, but the unity of God is a living unity. It is a unity of plenitude that includes difference and relationship. The Trinity is essentially a koinonia of persons in love. Contemplate this in the quiet as you breathe. A unity of plenitude that includes difference and relationship. Let's breathe together a few more times before we meditate on the scriptures in response. Psalm 133. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. It is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion, for there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life forevermore. Let's tarry over the opening verse that celebrates unity in God. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Let's contemplate this excerpt from one of Paul's letters. Until we reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God, and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants, tossed back and forth by the waves, and blown here and there by every wind of teaching, and by the cunning and craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is, Christ. From him the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love, as each part does its work. Let us tarry over the last verse and breathe deeply. From him the whole body, joined and held together, by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work.
As this guided spiritual practice comes to a close, would you open your journal and write what is in your heart and head as you contemplate the Trinitarian mystery of God? Would you use your journal to write a prayer to God in response, adoring God for who God is? Our hope is that we more deeply appreciate God's kind of unity and that we begin to experience it afresh at the table together. We look forward to seeing you on event night to dialogue together about what God is stirring among this people.